What's up YouTube, this is Wendell aka BitNative with a brand new video here on Work From Home Tech. So this is going to be a first in a series of videos. We're going to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. That's going to be one of the core operating systems. Later we'll do another module video which will be CentOS or maybe even Rocky. That'll be another core operating system. Then we'll follow up with the Metal as a Service series to be able to deploy these operating systems uh, as well as create your enterprise environment right here on work from home tech so if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe if you like this video you like the content hit that like button stay tuned All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the installation of Ubuntu. We have the desktop variant here. We're gonna go ahead and kick off the installation. Uh, just booting it up from the USB stick. We're gonna select the English language here and we're gonna fire this off. Now that the installation started, pick English, English, click continue. We're going to do a minimal installation. I like to install the fewest amount of packages as possible. Uh, I also like to include the third party software just in case there's something you need. I don't want it to download while we're doing this because that has the potential of messing up the installation uh, just because a package wouldn't download properly. We'll continue that. And now it's going to ask about the existing partition I have. I'm going to say erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu. Then we select our hard drive and click continue. We're going to select our time zone. I'm in New York. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in uh, my name here. I'm going to change the name to Moss. Uh, I already have a DNS entry in there for Moss, so it detected that and kind of gave me uh, a little notification. Um, but what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put the username, put my password in here, require log on, and I'm going to hit continue. And we're going to go ahead and let this install all the packages and get everything ready to go so we can have our initial boot. We'll speed this up a little bit in the video. All right, let's restart our, our machine. Remove our USB stick and then we can press enter and we can start the reboot process. All right, our HP is firing up again. All right, let's go ahead and log into our Ubuntu system with a fresh install for the very first time. Put in the username here. And as the services start up, it gives us the option to connect to online accounts. I don't do any of this. Uh, just hit skip here, uh, skip. Also, I do not want to send any information, hit skip. Uh, just leave privacy off and then we'll just close out this additional software for now. Uh, we've got a couple of steps to complete to get this thing ready. We want to install our packages, uh, install the console here. Uh, let me go ahead and just make sure that uh, everybody can see this just in case. I'll uh, zoom in. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an update of the packages and I'm going to actually include update of the package repos and update the packages themselves all in one command line. Uh, we put the TACY there to 
acknowledge when it asks the question, are you sure you want to install packages and then the associated packages related to the updates that are needed. Um, the tech while just automatically skip and confirm that, um, that's that course of action for you. And we sped this up again for the video and let's go ahead and give this a, um, another app command where we install open SSL. That way when it comes back up, we can remote shell into it as well as we're going to install Ansible. Um, and that'll allow us to do our automated configuration. So once these two packages here install and any associated packages that are dependencies for these packages, this will complete this part or this phase of setting up Ubuntu and it should come back up and it will be ready to go for us to access it remotely and do our configuration. Let's go ahead and give this a shut down with the minus R to reboot. We're going to say do it right now. Don't delay. <laughs> Funny, the software updater just popped up, said it was ready, but too late for that. We are firing up the reboot. And once it comes back up and reboots, we'll try to access it remotely and start our configuration.